Over the last hundred years, the company was built on the legacy of just outstanding people delivering exceptional results. Holtzman and Silverman, that came about because Nathan joined the business with Joe Holtzman. Nathan became uh, a lawyer and stayed with the firm and was involved in their building operations. The Holtzman side really was more uh, involved, more so in the building of the homes. My dad really liked the land deals probably the most. He joined up with David Hermelin, who was a great friend of his. My dad was a quintessential entrepreneur. He was in the insurance business and really had the real estate bug and found some early properties and he brought them to Gilbert and to David. And Holtzman Silverman was really known for being a, a great home building company. And they developed some of the early apartments together and formed Village Green Management Company together. When we got our first contract to develop the project, it was in Freeport, Illinois. And Toby Holtzman went down there, checked it out, and he came up with the name Village Green. We had five different partnerships, and I was doing the payroll for each of those partnerships manually. Then one day I got this idea. I went into Gil Silverman's office. I said, Gil, I got this crazy idea. What if we formed one company and we could call it Village Green Management Company, since all the projects were Village Green of he thought it was a great idea. So I, I formed the corporation, Village Green Management Company. Gilbert Silverman and David Holtzman and my dad were the owners of Villa Dream through the 60s and the 70s until it was uh, taken over by the next generation. I always think about Gil and the Silverman family. That second generation was the impetus behind where this organization is today. I would have lunch with him once a month, and we would go back and forth on things. He was old school, I was new school. But I always learned a lesson meeting with him. There was always takeaway from meeting with him. And I miss him. I miss him. All of these people that have been with us for a long time, Gil was their mentor. Um, and they stayed here because of his mentorship. My third day here, I'm in the pump room right downstairs from where we're sitting, and an older gentleman comes walking in there, and I kind of said, hey, this is off limits. Did you get lost? And, you know, find out it was Gil walking around and telling me about how he had the spa and everything built, you know, years ago, and he wanted to know who I was. So we kind of shook hands, got to know each other, and, uh, you know, since then, he's been, you know, the inspiration to kind of stay here. This was his, like, baby property, and he'd come around and be proud of how he built it and picked the color of the brick and whatnot. So it seems like I'm carrying a torch to keep this place, you know, running nice, you know, for him. There's a lot of talented people seeing where they are today versus where they were then. That's what I got the most enjoyment out of. We're not content being at 40,000 units. We're always being very aggressive and trying to get more units and more properties and more success. And I think people are attracted to that. People like being a part of winning teams, and you care about your people, you take care of your people, and those are the people out there executing every day. And if you take care of them, then you're gonna have a strong company of people that will not only be loyal to you, but they'll do the same things for people coming up below them. Customer service and operational excellence evolved under my leadership by creating process and, and really many institutions within the company and then making people accountable and being able to have your customers be able to reach out to you without any kind of screening. Customers can reach you whenever they want. Your customers were your biggest judge of how you perform. And as long as your customers were pleased, then you know you did a great job. It's been some heavy lifting, bringing in new technologies, putting the right people on the right seat on the bus, empowering them to produce results. Been with Village Green for 10 years. It's been an amazing trip for me, and it's amazing to think that I've been here for 10% of an overall of a 100 year company. We totally and completely focus today on where people live, is where they work, is where they play. 10 years ago, I didn't even have an email, and today I'm doing everything on the computer, and uh, I think it's great. Village Green has evolved as we have taken a focus more on the people side of the business as opposed to the architecture, the building, the amenities. 
in the past, we really wanted to promote the buildings and why someone should live there. And now, we really want to promote the lifestyle and the experience. We are totally and completely focused on how do we make a great place for people to live. We have two projects going on right now in the suburbs of, of Chicago that are transforming the neighborhoods they're in. We're taking care of people creating beautiful homes, whether it be the homes that are built through Albion or renovated through Albion, or whether they're homes that we're managing for third-party owners. Our goal every day is to create authentic experiences and to deliver exceptional results. What better way to do that than to make sure every resident that lives in our community feels at home and is happy to come home. Every time you walk into one of our buildings, you know it's one of our buildings. The building is the people that work there and the people who stay there, and everyone knows who they are. Today, we are one big family. We all look out for each other. We all help each other. I find it very exciting, and I can't wait to see what tomorrow is going to bring.